The Story of Rama Long ago, in ancient India, a wandering poet named Valmiki met a hunter in the forest. The wild hunter had just shot an arrow, cruelly killing a male Kroncha bird. Until this unexpected disaster, the Kroncha bird had lived happily with his mate. But now he lay dead, and the female Kroncha bird wailed in sorrow. Hearing the mournful cries of the female bird, Valmiki turned to the hunter and said, O hunter, may you ne'er be blessed, nor reach the realm of timeless rest, for thou hast rent this croncha pair while they were joined in love most rare. As soon as he said these words, Valmiki knew that he had invented a form of poetry never used before. This verse had four lines, each with eight syllables, and contained some rhymes. He called the new stanza a shloka, as it reminded him of shaka, the Sanskrit word for grief. It was sorrow and grief that Valmiki had felt when he was first moved to rebuke the hunter. Later, Valmiki used the shloka form to tell a story of separation and sorrow that had for a long time been in his heart. Valmiki's poem about separation and sorrow is known as the Ramayana. Rama is the hero's name, and Ayana means journey or career. In the simplest term, the title means the story of Rama. Here now is the main outline of Valmiki's oft-told tale of the Ramayana. The Ramayana has seven long sections called khandas. The first section, the Bala Khanda, tells of Prince Rama's birth, his youthful adventures, and his marriage to the Princess Sita. Bala refers to childhood or early events.